Hey everybody, this is the Nintendo Fan, and we're back for more Wario Land 3. In the last part, we got some more of, of some treasure, and one fun being an upgraded ground pound ability. And in this part, we're going to go back to Sea Turtle Rocks to do something here. And by the way, we can actually deal with those blobs with the ground pound. They do disappear over time. But we can actually go in here. And we got these green spearmen. And we can go through these pipes. Is this the way we came? Yes, it is. Might as well pound them out of the way. And room is dark, dark and red. This really looks like the Virtual Boy. And I love that sound. But what we want to do is go down this small hill and not hit the other one. Alright, trying this again. Go to the other side. Go through the virtual boy room. And go here for the key. Now, this is an interesting puzzle. We want to do the opposite. Go the opposite direction this time. Alright. Let's open the green chest. Let me get another one of those in paw prints. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, it's been the two pieces of the sun the whole time for the east to <laughs> side. And we want to go to the colossal hole. And now that it's daytime, let's do it. Because, yeah, as you know, owls are nocturnal, so they'll be asleep during the day. And we can actually grab this one. And explore the colossal hole. And we got a bomb here too. And that's what I thought. And go up here, and we got a maze of spikes. Might as well collect that. And I hit a spike. Wonderful. And I like the uh, music here, by the way. Oh, I hit it. Come on, how do I keep hitting that? Too bad I can't shortcut my way through the spikes after hitting them. Ooh. Heck. Am I, am I hitting right too soon? Uh, 
Okay, I think I hit up too soon this time. Yeah, those two pieces of sun pieces of the sun, I thought they were a uh, paw prints. Let's make a little shortcut. And here's our green chest, and it's that sun. And he lit us on fire. Oh, fire beats ice. <laughs> Well we, well, we do need to get lit on fire at some point. But this is not the time. Because we still need that green key. What? Huh. I guess I can't bring that green guy with me. The green robot. And I get hit by fire again. Alright. Hopefully, I won't get hit by fire again. Well, actually, this is good timing, too. For a second there, I thought we, I needed an enemy to throw. Alright. Of course, you can only do this mission during the day. Alright! Perfect! Let's open this green chest and see what's in it. Jump higher. And I feel like having it daytime to go back to the stagnant swamp. Alright, let's go through this hole. And I get to stop by the rat robot. Wonderful. Oh, no, you don't. Luckily, the upgraded arm thrust attack beats things up. And we want to go through he here. And we got an interesting puzzle to solve. Hang on, I'm going to start this over again. Because what we want to do is... Come on! Oh wait, I don't want to pick this guy up. Ugh! What you want to do is jump on this guy, jump on this one, and grab one of them.
Jeez! This is a lot harder than it looks. Come on, you. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. There we go. Jump on you. Crouch down. And that's how you get the... Green key. And I believe we want to go up. Get out of my way. Ugh. Luckily, the rat robot's not nearby. And thank God I didn't jinx that. I thought he was he was ahead of me after all. And let's create a shortcut. And let's go up. Forget the fact that we got the red key again. And in we go. We have a boss fight against this ghost pirate here, Jamano. What you want to do is knock the skulls out of the off the uh, lantern, and you do not want him to hit, touch you, otherwise, he'll actually transport you out, much like the rat robot. And, we did it! And as you saw, the skulls to cover the lanterns over time, making it longer. Let's open this chest. It contains the next music box. beneath the way. But I want to turn it to daytime for the Castle of Illusions. And I like how there are zombies in here despite, despite it being at daytime. Ah! Well, at least they didn't go far. Go through here. Dang it. I wanna grab this enemy here. Wait, hold on a second. Oh. I had to break these first. Oh boy. opened up this chest, which, uh, lost part of it for some reason. Bye-bye. And we cannot lift this guy still. Get rid of you. Come on! Well, if I'm gonna be turned into Zombie Warrior, at least now's the time. Oops! I forgot to hit the switch! That's what I get for getting ahead of myself. Alright. Go on 
Sucker. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, it's the, the green chest. And we can't do anything here. So, let's get out of here. And here's the blue chest. Has a gun. I feel like you should be zombified somewhere. Let's try here. Let's see what that does. Nothing. Oh, I think I know what I can do. Okay, I was just curious if I actually am after the red chest, which I am. Dang it! Luckily, there's light right here. Oh, right here. Convenient. There you go. And we're in a new area here. See these five enemies here? Do your pound. And they go up. And let's see. It's the red key. And you gotta look out for the platforms behind the foreground. Let's see. I have to hit the switch one more time. Dag nabbit! Hit the zombie again. That's right, I keep hitting that one in particular. Oh! Dang it. There we go. Okay. Now we can go through here. Let's open the red chest and see what's in it. Looks like a torch of some kind. Looks like a torch. That gives us access to the Forest of Fear. Let's go there. This is a creepy area. Be 
you got a lot of climbing to do and a lot of spikes in the process. And we got these uh, trees with faces, much like in Out of the Woods. Yeah, it almost reminds me of Wispy Wood from Kirby. Dang it! And you got those birds to deal with. And I couldn't shortcut my way. Get you out of my way. And I'm going down to get that gray key. Let's see what's down here. Nothing. And we got the zombies. Out of curiosity. I knew it. Let's climb back up. And no shortcut here. I think we want to go to the other side without hitting a spike. I'm not talking too much. I'm just trying to concentrate. Let's open this. And we get... I think that's a mirror. that created the Warped Void. Let's check it out. It's an interesting area. And these portals here are doors. Dude, this one's one heck of a maze. It looks like those uh, balls were forming the number one. Like it's area one. But I'm not sure. Oh. this robot. There we go. Let's see if this... Uh... Did it take us back? I think it did. We made it to the gray chest. Let's see what's in it. Oh, 
that's the wheel. And that did something for the, for the forest of fear. But, actually, I'm curious where we should go next. Beneath the waves. And we got more color in the game area. But, let's go to Beneath the Waves. And, as the name implies, you got a lot of waves to deal with. And these octopus <laughs> serve as a purpose later. We can go. And these some cages are for later. And let's not go in the waves yet. You want to go in here. I think we want to go under here. Somewhere. Oh wow, I got it! That was a lucky guess. And around those enemy blocks is a music coin. And let's go in the wave. Here. I think we need the help of the bubble, don't we? Or not. This one's uh, interesting. Ugh, oh, I had it! <laughs> Get in the bubble. Don't oh, I missed. There we go. We want to go in here. Okay, we got the zip line. And those blue robots are back. I was wanted that one anyway. Alright, trying this again. This is the one. And I was right. Let's open this one and see what's in it. And that set off those bombs in those areas, but I think I'm going to end things off here. And in the next part of Warrior Land 3, we're going to keep explore those uh, bomb areas, alright? Later, guys! <laughs>